we're going to be looking at how to do the development of this drawing over here. I've got a first angle orthographic projection, the front view and the top view of this, uh, this square to square transition piece. Um, what we need to look at is how to get two lengths of the lines on here and how to get that so that I can make this into a um, into the development. Right, okay, here we go. Uh, first of all, labeling, I've got one, two, three, and four over there. I can place those. There's one and four at that, two and three at that. I've got A, B, C, and D over there. I've got A and B, sorry, A and D, B and C over there, all right. And at the end of the day, what I need to do is to find this seam over here that they've asked you to use as the welding seam, um, 1A. Do I have a true length of 1A? If you look at it, 1A over there and 1A over here, both of them are not parallel to the XY axis. And so I need to figure out what the true length is. To find the true length, I'm going to take this length over here on the top view between 1 and A. I take it to this little graph that I've drawn over here and I mark that off on the graph and I label it as 1A. As soon as I've got that in place, I now know that I've got this length of line going from the true height, the true height down to 1A over there. Okay, there's the true height which I took over there and I've got a true length of 1A represented by that little construction line I did there. Right. Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to take this length over here, 1A. I'm going to draw a little construction line coming out over here. And I'm going to mark off 1A on this line over here. And I'm going to draw it in as a nice dark line and label it 1A. Right, when I'm doing this, I'm wanting this thing to curve round over there. So I'm going to put A on the inside and one on the outside, remembering that one goes to two, two goes to three, and you can see that those lengths, one to two, two to three, are much smaller than the lengths A and B, etc. Okay, my next thing is to try and find the true length between one and B, okay? So do I have a true length going from one to B? If I look over here, one and B, I just draw in a little dashed line over there. One going to be, it's not parallel. One going to be, not parallel. Therefore, I need to find out what that true length is between one and B. Take that length off the top view, take it to your graph over here, mark it off, label it 1B, 1B, and I can now draw in a line going from one to B. Over there, there's a true length that I've got between 1 and B. Take that length over there. Go to 1 over here, and I'm going to mark off a nice long arc over there. Somewhere along that arc that I've just drawn over there, I will be able to find B. Do I have a true length between A and B? There's a true length of AB. You can see AB is parallel to the XY axis, therefore AB over here will be a true length. If I make an arc over here, note, I've got that original arc, somewhere along that arc was B, I've got a true length between A and B, therefore that intersection over there is where B is. As soon as I've got that, I can now draw in a line going between A and B, and I can also draw in that little dashed line. I sometimes want you to just put that in just to show where you got that measurement. Right. My next step is to try and find a true length distance between 2 and B, okay? True length distance between 2 and B. Do I have a true length distance between 2 and B? You note that that is 90 degrees to the XY axis. This is 90 degrees to an XY axis. Therefore, neither of those lines are true lengths. I need to find that true length between 2 and B. Take that distance between 2 and B. Go over here mark it off on the graph, label it as 2B, draw a little line over here signifying 2B, 
Okay, and I can now take this and measure off to B over there. Come to B over here, draw an arc. Somewhere along that arc that I've got is going to be two. Do I have a true length distance between one and two? I do have the true length distance. One and two is parallel, therefore one and two is a true length. I can go to one over here and I can mark off where two is. Right, once I've got that, I'm going to draw in this particular panel and we are finished with the first panel. Right, once I've got that, I now need to look at this side over here. Now, you can't really see that side because it's, uh, it's standing vertically. Okay, so there's my object. It's standing vertically over there, but the side actually looks like that. Don't forget um, that you've still got that, that side and you need to figure out what it is that you need to do in order to get that. Right. I have got a true length distance going between B and C. So I'm going to mark off the true length distance with an arc, B to C, over here, and I can make an arc. Somewhere along that arc, I'm going to find C. Do I have a true length distance between two and C? Between two and C? No, I don't. Over here, you can see there is a bit of a problem. Two and C is at 90 degrees, two and C is at 90 degrees, and I can come along to my graph over here and I can mark off to C, to C. Right, let's just draw a line going from the top of the graph down to 2C. There we go, take that distance, 2C, and I can go over here to C. If you were really clever, you would have actually noticed that there is actually a true length distance between 2 and C. And the reason being is that if you look at this length of line between 2 and C, and you look at this length of line between 4 and C, you will see that that length over there and that length of the, over there are, ident are identical. Okay, and you know that the height is the same. So do I have a true length distance of 4C over here? 4C will be a true length along that dotted line over there. 4C is parallel to the XY axis. Therefore, if I look at this, there's my true length distance. Same as 2C. Okay, but if you didn't know that, that's how you'd go about doing it. I found C and I can now draw a line going from C to B. I can draw a line going from 2 to C. And I now need to go and find 3. Do I have a true length distance between 2 and 3? Okay, what we need to do now is we need to try and find the distance between 2 and 3. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we first of all need to look and see do I have a distance, a true length distance between two and three? Yes, I do, definitely. I've got that distance over there, two to three. Come along to two, and I'm going to draw a line, a nice little arc over there. Distance two to three. Right, do I have a true length distance of three uh, to C? Okay, if you look at this, I've got a point view of three C. So straight away, I know that that is going to be a true length distance as well. So I can take that distance and I can go to C and I can draw in another little arc that will give me that point C, I mean point three over there. Right, I can now draw a line that goes from three to two and I can draw a line that goes from C to three. Right, after that, I now need to go from C to D. All right, so I take this true length distance from C to D. Make a little arc from C to D. Right, do I have a true length distance from 3 to D? 
Okay, three to D. Let's have a look. Uh, over here, three to D is parallel. Okay, so if I draw a line going from three to D over here, three to D, there we go. I know that that length is a true length distance, so I can take a true length distance from 3 to D. Come along to 3 over here and arc off over there, giving me a D over there. I can draw in the line going from C to D. I can draw in that little dashed line going from D to 3. And after that, I need to get a true length distance from 3 to 4. There's my true length distance on the top view, 3 to 4. I can go to 3 over here and make an arc. Okay, I need a true length distance from D to 4. Do I have a true length distance of D4? Well, you can see that D4 is parallel. So from D to 4, that distance over there is a true length distance. I can go to D and I can mark off where 4 is over there on that arc. Right. I can then draw in a line going from 3 to 4. And I can draw in a line going from D to 4. Right. Finally, I need to go from four, uh, from D to A, sorry, from D to A. Let's go from D to A. D, make an arc. Somewhere along that arc, I've got A. Do I have a true length distance from four to A? That little distance over there. Let's just get the right colors to do this. 4 to A. Do I have a true length distance going over there? Well, uh, you can see that 4A is not parallel. 4A is not parallel, so I need to take my distance from my top view over here. 4 to A. Come along to my graph over here. Mark that off. Label that as 4A. Just going to draw that little line in for a over there take that distance of 4a off the graph 4a off the graph go to 4 over there and mark off a right label it as a okay just draw that line in. Okay, I need to get a true length distance from 4 to 1. 4 to 1. There. Mark off the distance 4 to 1 over there. And I need a true length distance of A to 1. Okay, so do I have that true length distance of A1? Well, Remember, right at the beginning, we found that true length distance of A1 over there. So I can take that distance, A1, and that's why marking these things off and labeling them is so important. I can find my true length distance, A1, very easily if I do need to use it again. And there we go, there's A1, there is point 0.1 over there, and I can now join up 4 to 1, and a to 1. And I can do my little dashed line of 4A over here. Right, after you've done that, you are completed.